Again, tonight's about uh, celebrating life, celebrating Spirit and Flesh magazine, an awesome, awesome fashion culture magazine, one of the best I've seen in a long, long time. Also, we're going to celebrate Juan Rivera, boxer, dancer. It's very therapeutic, it's inspirational, it has got me in great shape. Juan is one of the best people out there that I've known in my life. Buenas noches mi gente, I am Jess Perez y estamos aquí en Soho Bar Lounge, nada más y nada menos with Juan Rivera. How are you? Good, muy bien, gracias. We're celebrating beauty, we're celebrating women, and we're celebrating Spirit and Flesh. Check it out. How was it working with Spirit and Flesh? Because I heard that you were the creative director and you did an amazing, exceptional job. How was that? Well, it was an amazing experience given that um, I boxed and um, I was able to um, give him the story. And given that I've experienced my, my experience within amateur and professional and what I do now with these women training for just some um, looks, I was able to put a story together and it worked out. Nice. How did you influence other women and how is the feedback? Because this is such a beautiful thing that you are inspiring women in such a, you know, aggressive, male-dominated career field. Well, um, I do group training with women, so um, the classes are not really meant for all women, but it, for some reason or not, women just gravitate to the class and the situation, and they're finding out that they're finding, they're getting crazy transformations from this workout, they're getting to learn how to fight, they're self-confident and stress-free, they can go in there and punch the bag. about working with Spirit Flesh, how was the creative directing, how was, you know, working with such an amazing team behind you, how did you prepare for the shoot? Well, it's kind of shocking because I've never worked, been in the situation and seeing um, how people work and uh, all the acting and all the stuff takes a lot of work. I mean, I was getting tired at one point, I was getting ready to be like, oh, I want to go home, but after seeing what the outcome and Everything that came out of it, I'm so happy, you know, amazed how everything just turned out to be. How was it growing up in Dominican Republic and how did our culture, our people influence who you are now? Um, I never wanted to be a boxer. It was always a baseball player, but I think I was too short and I didn't get enough baseball in me to make it to the major leagues. So as I was looking for baseball, I just... But where I grew up was very hostile and it was like a fighting and fighting here, fighting there. So someone just said, you know what, you got to go box and threw me in the gym from there. I took it and, it's and I was, history, huh? and it was history. And women are just as belligerent, they could be just as belligerent as a strong ass man. But for some reason or not, it's created this, the way that women are not supposed to box. But right. the way we do it here is like boxing helps you with your confidence. It's more about embracing who you are, being strong mentally, physically, and that's a beautiful thing that you're bringing back to, to women, you know? And we appreciate, look, everybody that's here supporting you and loving you, this is, this is huge, you know? And I feel appreciated for that and very um, grateful for the support they're giving me. Well, Juan, look at all the amazing followers and admirers and people that came out to support you today. I mean, it's just been such a successful night, and I wish you good luck and keep inspiring women. If you guys want to know more about Juan Rivera, make sure you check out the website, www.spiritandfleshmag.com, and check out the photo shoot exclusively on the website that he directed, right? Right. There you go. Hasta la vista, baby. Just want to thank you personally for everything you do. Thank you for your effort. Thank you for being the man you are. Thank you for being an influence and a role model to much, uh, much people in the community. So with that, folks, again, just want to say thank you. Enjoy the night. Mr. DJ, what do you got for us, man?